the way that she smiles on stage is so like extremely cute but at the same time she has moments where she can give you a mix of like cute and like innocent and then she turns into like a glamazon and like so fierce and the facial expression changes Hello everyone, welcome once again to my channel. It's your boy Luis Fortales and for today's video we have a very special reaction because we are going to be checking out on this channel for the very first time ever the full performance of Miss Universe Thailand 2020, Amanda Abden. I feel like over time Amanda has really earned the reputation of an iconic legendary queen within the Miss Universe bubble and to be honest I feel like it was kind of a process. It's not something that happened instantly uh, but Amanda was definitely a fan favorite since the beginning. As she started competing during Miss Universe it just got better and better and better but if I'm being truly honest I was not always the biggest fan of Amanda not in a bad way but I remember filming a few videos a while ago about her and uh, there were certain scenarios where I was really not that impressed I remember there was like a QA and a challenge this was not during the competition this was prior to it and she seemed like a little off like very tired very I don't know like the energy wasn't there and that kind of like I was like hmm I don't know about this but ultimately I have this was not during the competition this was prior to it and she seemed like a little off like very tired very I don't know like the energy wasn't there and that kind of like I was like hmm I don't know about this but ultimately I have to admit that as the pageant started she clearly became a threat you know she had the best national costume she was you know her gowns were iconic her wardrobe I remember like when Amanda left for the airport it was just like everywhere within like the pageant blogs and the pages and all because it was just so extra so she definitely brought the star quality the entertainment factor and i believe that she will always be remembered for that since she just recently passed her crown to her successor Anjali uh, scott i wanted to make this video as kind of a tribute to amanda just to look back at everything that she did during this universe and i'll give you some of my comments my feedback all of it and I'll share with you some of the memories that you know I have with this particular moment so you guys I really hope that you enjoyed this video if you do please don't forget to leave a like on the video so that it gets recommended to more people subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one almost every single day and last but not least let me know in the comment section what you think about my comments my feedback my memories everything that Amanda accomplished during her Miss Universe run also let me know what do you want to see next on my channel it's always appreciated so without further ado my friends I won't keep you waiting any longer let's get into today's video I hope you enjoy it Be strong. Be strong. Amanda Shalita of the Thailand the next contestant to move on to the swimsuit round is Thailand Come on, swimsuit! Sadiqa! Hi everyone! I am Amanda Shalisa of the Miss Universe Thailand. My mother once told me a story that when I was born, my father picked me up and went to the beach just a couple days after. Being an island girl, I decided to get my open water certificate. It was a whole different world that I did not know existed. Being a mental health advocate is something that is really close to my heart and it's very, very important to me. And that's why I started my Happy Listen campaign to raise awareness about being a better listener. Because if we know about it, then we know how to deal with it. Okay, I remember this introduction video. I actually made a top list of my topics for this one. And one of the comments that I had for Amanda was that uh, well, first of all, I love the set at that point. It's so luxurious, it's so elaborate, and it just looks like she's like in a very expensive studio. But also, I did appreciate how much of her stories she shared. I remember that she mentioned that she actually lived in Toronto at some point, which is like super close to where I stay. And I was like, just so like intrigued, like, oh my God, Amanda Abdem actually was just like five hours away from me. So that was crazy. But still, I felt like there was a lot of information to be included within such a short video. And I was not like 100% convinced just yet at that point. But looking back, you know, and after several months of me getting to know her a little bit better, I follow her on social media and all. So I get to see a little bit more of her. I can see her charm. I can see the beauty and the grace that she has. So all of those things I do appreciate nowadays. Ooh, this was for the national costume. The winner, the winning national costume. It's a Siamese fighting fish 
known for its vibrant array of colors, but also for its courageous nature. This national costume is particularly inspired by this unique fish and resembles the colors of the Thai national flag, red, white, and blue. Wow, I can only imagine the back part of the costume, how heavy that must have been. But anyways, on stage, it was such a cool effect, you know, with all of the colors, with the, the fabric that was used on the costume. It was so flowy, it looked amazing. And also, I love how creative it was, you know, the designer who, who made this, who put this piece together for Amanda, really thought outside of the box and outside of proportions, dimensions, it really went with something that like a fish who would get inspired by a fish and then like create a literal fish that was super super cool i also something that i really loved was the attention to detail on the front part like the head of the of the fish also what she was wearing herself like the costume you know like on the on the corset what she had on the on the shoulders it was just like so well thought out so creative and compared to everyone that night i do feel like amanda rightfully won the best national costume for this particular challenge. It was beautiful. This fish likes to fight in its blue, red, and white in Thailand. Ooh. I'm still not over how heavy this must have been. Damn. Props to you, Amanda. Amanda has gone Thailand. Ooh, come on, Amanda. Mm. Oh yes. Amanda had the facial expression on point. This girl knew how to model with her face. And the body. Body yaddy 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 yaddy. Mm. Number seven is Okay, let's go back. So Amanda has something about her that is like so so charming. You know, like the way that she laughs, the way that she the way that she smiles on stage is so like extremely cute but at the same time she has moments where she can give you a mix of like cute and like innocent and then she turns into like a glamour and like so fierce and the facial expression changes and it also translates through her body through her movements and even through her walk so i feel like definitely on those you know elements she was one of the best on this particular year miss universe 2020. also something that i remember that it was going like all over the the vlogs and everyone was talking about it was this you know robes that they were giving like the accessories that they were wearing some of the candidates were really struggling with it amanda was in control she knew how to place it how to play with it with the wind and just make it work so nothing but props to her because this definitely it added a layer of complexity and not everyone was able to pull it off so to see that not only she had all of the technique but also was able to you know work with whatever challenge they threw at her says that she was a pro I mean she still is sure. it, number 7 is certainly having for Thailand come on Thailand mm -hmm. <laughs> the ties were going crazy. Ooh. Mm. The twirl. Okay, let's stop, let's stop please. Okay, I just wanna take a moment to appreciate this gown. And in case you haven't noticed, the entire lighting today, the t-shirt, everything is an homage, a tribute to this particular gown. It's so extremely beautiful. I mean, I know that this is inspired by water and the way that they played with the colors, you know, the combination, different shades of blue, the silver, uh, it just reminds me of the ocean, the waves, you know. Uh, it's so beautiful and Amanda herself is just stunning you know being able to play a little bit on both camps you know swimsuit which is extremely fierce sexy playful and then being able to change completely for the evening gown presentation is remarkable and it requires a lot of skill Amanda was so so elegant this night the way that she walked 
the way that she, you know, facial expression, the way that she was looking at the audience, connecting with the camera. It was just like beyond. I remember very early on, uh, I think this was before the competition even started, there was like a lot of videos of Amanda being compared to Catriona back in the day in Miss Universe. And actually, I did agree with that back in the day at that point because there was definitely, you could feel the inspiration. However, throughout her journey in Miss Universe and especially towards the end of it, I feel like Amanda was able at that point to find the element that, that made it hers. She was able to, whatever inspiration she took from anyone, she was able to to make it her own at that point. And it was no longer a reference to anyone, it was Amanda Abdem's walk. On top of that, you throw her personality, so charming, I mean, so beautiful. Her technique, you saw that, that twirl with the hair that followed, it was just like effortless and so, so, so precise. And you know, just look at the way that she walks, the legs, the positioning of the body, exquisite. Nothing to criticize right here. What a woman, what a woman. Look at the movement of the hips, coordination of the feet. Wow, beautiful. You know, I always wonder what would have happened if Amanda was given the chance to participate within uh, the top five, because it would have been interesting to see her answer the Q&A and see how she will be able to compete with the other candidates that at that point. I know that for this particular year, for this particular batch, especially the questions and the answers that were provided were a little bit controversial. The fandom was divided. I remember like a lot of backlash for Andrea for her answer. I remember that people were saying like Miss India should have won or like Miss Peru and, um, and then it ended up being Miss Mexico and Miss Brazil and then uh, Miss Mexico winning the crown. But I wonder what would have happened if Amanda was given the chance to participate within the competition of Q&A. So anyways, I'm just gonna throw out that question like that. This is pretty much my reaction for the full performance of Amanda Abden during Miss Universe 2020. Uh, you guys let me know in the comment section what do you think about my comments, my feedback, my memories, and anything that you want to add, just leave it down below. While you're at it, don't forget to leave a like on the video so that it gets recommended to more people. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one almost every single day. And just before you go, please just come here and give me a hug because that's a little tradition on this channel. You know that I love you and that I appreciate you. Thank you for coming and spending a few moments out of your day here with me. And until I see you next time, <laughs> please stay safe, be kind to one another, sending you all my love, all my kisses. And I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Bye, everyone.